Hey everyone, um, just wanted to share this with you. I just got off a got off God, just got off of a call, a Zoom, uh, with a former student of mine, and uh, we have a really good relationship. And he asked me, Tremaine, I'm starting a new internship. How do I network? How do I network with people within the company? And I stopped him. I said, basically said to him, Let me show you something. This is how. You need to begin to rethink about the whole process of networking. And I showed him this chart, and I came up with this chart maybe about, I would say, like a week ago, because I was questioning um, as far as like the link between education and work, and um, looking at education, the educational system, and how we've been educated for a career to retire. So it's been education, get your education for a career so that you can retire. And I began to question that model. I've, I've always questioned that model, but I never had any type of solution or anything to, to work with. And that's when I came up with this model, where it starts off with being committed to a continuous learning path, which, which is lifelong. That leads to leverage. That leads to longevity. So when I was going through with him in terms of uh, networking, this is where I, start. I said, first and foremost, what you have to do is be committed to a continuous learning path. So I, I was painting the picture for him. Now, he's, on, he's in his 20s. And I was saying, imagine being in your 80s and 90s and still engaged with learning. Like, learning never stops. Uh, with the old model, with the other model, with, where you, get your, you go through K-12, through and then some of us go on and get our... our um, a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, a doctorate, and at that point, learning stops. Uh, what I'm saying is, imagine yourself being 80 or 90 years old and you're still engaged in learning. And you want to commit to that path first. And you want to do that with the intent to be useful. So basically, how can I be useful with what I'm learning or what I know um, on this path? And that's as, and then I was walking them through. As you go on that path, you begin to discover your purpose. And as you're discovering your purpose, I encouraged him to to document that, to share what it is that he's learning on his path. Now, what I told him, I said, first, what you need to do is I asked him. I said, hey, do you have your own domain name? Do you have your domain? Do you own your domain virtually? Uh, because that's the first step. And he said to me, he said to me, oh, I have a LinkedIn, I have my Instagram, I have this and that. I was like, no, 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 no. That's, they own all your data. What you need is your own domain, virtually that you own your domain. And it's a $12 investment. And he said, no. So I said, that's the first step. Then you want to begin to document the process, and I showed in my YouTube videos. Like, if you've been following me, you see I do constant YouTube videos that are short. I'm documenting um, the process. They're not perfect. I'm going to mess up, but that's not the point. The point is to continue to share, like what I'm doing right now, you're sharing uh, what you're learning along the path. Uh, what, and what you're doing in that case is you're building leverage. And the more leverage you begin to build, then you begin to create a certain level of autonomy. Um, because now you're becoming a, a thought leader. People are looking to you for advice. People are looking to you to speak. Um, because now you're becoming, um, you're taking control over your, your, your life. You're taking control of your life. And the next step after that is, the, finding the path of longevity. And you find a path of longevity through business model discovery, discovering your business model. And for him, when I was talking to, um, to the student, he's in the internship, the particular business model that he was after was getting hired from this company um, that he's doing an internship. That's the, that's the level of uh, the business model that would work for him in that time. And once you find that business model, now that could be, like for instance, um, I recently just um, was asked to, to speak, to do a workshop 
um, to a nonprofit. Now that's a paid opportunity. Now that was a paid opportunity because I was I'm creating autonomy with the you know with that I'm sharing along the way, and it is turning into a business model, and and which leads to the next path, which is mastery. Now once you um, like for instance. Uh, with, the, with the speaking workshop that I just did, I, it was my first time doing the Zoom workshop. And my biggest concern was, hey, will this translate over in Zoom? Because like, I like the, the energy in the room. I like to experiment. And I was wondering whether or not it would, it would translate. And it actually did. And now it's about, can I gain mastery around uh, doing these Zoom workshops? Uh, because remember, it sets me back on this lifelong continuous learning. And it just continues to go on and on and on. Um, so you're not, you're not depending on any one stream of income. One income stream or one revenue stream, one business model, is not better than the other business model. I think you can have multiple business models um, working at the same time uh, to create longevity so that you're continually learning over a lifetime lifetime so this is something that I came up with it's still this is my version 1.0 of this and I've been sharing it and I'm um, getting some good feedback so I thought I would share it with my um, my YouTube family um, what, what I'm working on what I'm what I've been sharing with other people so with that said have a good one talk to you next time